Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you find this video helpful, please like, comment and share. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Today, we are going to discuss about Warthin tumor or Warthin's tumor, which is also called papillary cyst adenoma lymphomatosum. It is a benign, slow-growing tumor of the parotid gland. It was first recognized by Albrecht in 1910 and later it is described by Dr. Warthin in 1929. So the name came from here. Now some high yield points about Warthin's tumor. It is the second most common tumor of the salivary gland. However, you should remember that the pleomorphic adenoma is the most common salivary gland neoplasm. Most commonly affected gland is parotid gland and it is strongly associated with smoking. Here I would like to mention that the tumor was traditionally considered as a disease of man because of the smoking habit. Previously the male to female ratio was 10 is to 1 but nowadays due to increasing smoking habit among women recent reports have identified a substantial percentage of patients who are women. Researchers have found a virus which is associated with this tumor and it is Epstein-Barr virus. As I have already mentioned that Warthin tumor is also called papillary cyst adenoma lymphomatosum or lymphomatous. It's difficult to remember such a long name but if you see it actually depicts the exact histologic character of the tumor. Let's split the word cyst adenoma which means cyst plus adenoma. Greek word adeno means gland and oma means tumor. So it is a cyst like glandular tumor. Suppose here a small part of the parotid gland. As we know parotid gland is made up of glandular cells and some small dubs attached with it which are lined by epithelial cells. So in case of cyst adenoma the duct grow in size and fill up with serous fluid and cellular debris which form a large cyst. Now papillary means finger like projection. The epithelial lining grow inside as a finger like projection. Due to this invagination it is called papillary. And lastly the epithelial lining gets infiltrated by lymphocytes or supported by a lymphoid stroma that frequently shows germinal central formation. That's why it is called papillary cyst adenoma lymphomatosum. Another important point about this tumor is it is a it is not malignant because it doesn't break through the basement membrane and most of the time it is encapsulated by connective tissue when present in the parotid gland. Now let's discuss about clinical features. Usually it appears as a painless slow growing nodular mass which is firm or sometimes fluctuant on palpation. As it is painless and slow growing it takes significant amount of time before seeking any medical attention. Frequently it occurs in the tail of the parotid near the angle of the mandible or just below the ear. One unique feature is the tendency of the Warthin tumor to occur bilaterally. But the interesting point is most of these bilateral tumors do not occur simultaneously but are metachronous which means it may occur at different times. Nerves which pass through the parotid gland if compressed can cause earaches, impaired hearing, tinnitus or even facial nerve palsy. That's all guys. In the next section, I'm going to discuss about pathophysiology, histopathology, diagnosis and management. Please like, comment and share and don't forget to subscribe. Have a nice day.